That's somebody that doesn't know how to trade. That's somebody that just needs a nudge to go out there and impulsively trade when there is no setup. Because I say, I think it's going to go here. Okay, that's where my area of interest is. I want to see NASDAQ 15,126. I want to see it. But it has to have a context in price that allows that setup to be there. Otherwise, that's just a level I'm interested in. It might trade there next week and I may miss the move. Am I going to go unhinged and say, fuck all this shit? It doesn't fucking work. I missed this one fucking trade. I couldn't encapsulate my entire career in this one fucking trade. Oh, let's throw it all out the fucking window. It's useless now. <laughs> it's silly to think like that, but so many of you do it just like that when you're trying to get a funded account challenge passed, you're trying to trade your first fucking trade with your funded account. You couldn't wait to get funded. Now you have it. You have a funded account. And here you go. Within fucking five fucking minutes of getting your login details, you're in there trading at a time when there ain't no fucking reason to be in there. Let's go for it, baby. I can trade five contracts. Oh, I won't do that. Let's just do four. And max day loss. What the fuck? 21 attempts to get this shit and here I already shit the fucking bed. Yeah. Because you're not ready. You have not learned. You want sugar high. Not consistently boring meat and potatoes. You live long, healthy, strong, virile lives. Meat and potatoes. You eating fucking candy bars. You're going to get fat and unhealthy. You don't want your trading to be in a diabetic fucking coma. You want things that are going to be sustainable. Things that are rooted on sound logic. That have proven themselves to outpace and overcome your former adversities. The things that you were fearful of, you stopped the mud hole in it and walked it fucking dry. Now, everything in front of you is an opportunity. But do you have the maturity, the self-discipline, and control to filter out the ones that are less likely to deliver the highest yield? There's levels to this, folks. And you think it's just, give me a five-minute condensed version of ICT. Make it easy for me so I can go out there and blow my fucking account. Because that's what you're asking for. Give me another shortcut excuse for me to go out there and try to do something I'm ill prepared to do. But we'll call it fucking skill if I'm lucky. I know it doesn't sound good sometimes hearing it like that way. But folks, listen, that's just exactly what I needed to hear when I was coming up. There was nobody to do it. I didn't know nobody that had the excuse to do not do this. Because this is what will happen. I was going through it myself. I was a poster child for fucking blown accounts, failing, fearful of this, doubting myself, all that stuff. Do you see those characteristics in me today? Do you hear them in me today? Fuck no. I'm always referred to as the most arrogant fucking pompous prick there is in trading. Because I know my shit will work. I know when it will work. That's a level of confidence that you just can't get in a book. You can't go to a workshop. A guru can't teach that to you. You earn that shit. You earn it. You acquire it through sweat, work, diligent approach to studying, adhering to fucking rules and abstaining from things that are wasteful, time consuming, fucking negative horseshit. You cut all that stuff out. If you're listening to me today, you're on the right fucking path. You're doing that very thing. So many people are still sleeping in because they got fucking drunk last night. Some of you are probably hungover listening to this thinking, shit, I wish I wouldn't have been fucking so hungover. This would have been a better space. <laughs> what you do on your weekends tells the story of your future. And that's the truth. Your free time away from the man, the slave shop, the sweat shop, the cubicle across from fucking Carl. 
when everybody else just wants to sit back and chill. Give me my fucking cores. Give me my sports teams. Give me my barbecues. A bag of fucking trips and just don't bother me for a couple of days because Monday's coming again. That's not you. That's not you. You're listening to some fucking ranting, raving motherfucker telling you what you need to do and what not to do on a Saturday. Because you have shit to do. You have things that you want to get accomplished before you lay down for the last time. You have places to be and you have to make assurities that you're going to be able to afford things for you and your family. So you're sacrificing your time. You're investing your time in yourself, in your future self, in your family's future to learn and acquire a skill set from someone that's proving it to you globally, not just independently through my own actions. And you're seeing value because you didn't have to swipe a credit card. You didn't have to make a PayPal payment. There's no two week trial. There's no coupon codes here. It's just show the fuck up, show up, take notes. That's it. I'm not asking anything of you, but just do the work. The things that you want to have out of life, this can deliver it for some of you, not all of you, some of you, because not all of you are going to be able to do the things that are required. You haven't overcome your adversities. You didn't look at that adversity as an objective to overcome. And you need to do that initially in the beginning stages. And anytime a new adversity creeps in, whether it be in trading or any other venture that you do in life, you have to immediately go after it. You have to single-handedly stomp its ass. Everything you do is a decision. You need to ask yourself before you do it, how is this decision going to impact me? Not just today. How is it going to impact me for the coming week, coming month, coming year? How is it going to affect me as a person of character, of principle? Is this a waste of my fucking time? Am I wasting my time? Am I putting any waste of time in this venture or providing time to someone that's not going to yield me a return on my, in my investment? If you're not getting something out of that, don't do it. Don't feel bad about it either. Don't even apologize. Just say, I don't have time for this. I got to go. What a rude ass motherfucker. Fuck off. You don't have to say it verbally. Wipe your feet off and leave them right where they're standing. Because the enemy likes to creep in and steal time. Cloud your mind. You won't see the opportunities in front of you, which is why he brings adversity. And adversities are just simply opportunities for you to exercise what you're already growing stronger in doing, which is overcoming Trading is overcoming uncertainty. I embrace uncertainty. Every successful trader embraces uncertainty. You have yet to see it that way because it's fearful. That darkness on the hard right edge of that chart, it's uncharted waters. You've never been there before. <laughs> None of us have. That hard right edge right now where every market you're trading Whatever it is, that's all uncharted territory. There are processes, standard operating procedures that you have to know that you are going to lean on. If this happens, I'm not going to get emotional. I'm not going to get angry. I'm not going to turn vengeful and try to get my money back right away. It's not vigilante fucking trading model. All these things maybe haven't been given much thought up until today. And I'm hoping, at least it's been my aim today, to try to put a spotlight on how we are to think about these things, and not view them as reasons why not to bother or to be fearful in our attempts in trying to improve.